this guy has got he's got me all wrong he's got what the channel is about completely wrong i mean it's a good comment for those of you new to the channel i buy stuff and sell it on ebay for a profit i do that alongside my full-time job I'm reading a comment here that was left today on one of my older videos basically they're trying to belittle what i do here and it's all about the amount of money that i make off of ebay i'll read it to you now nah, well so it starts with feedback is left universally across ebay at an average of 20 percent didn't know that learned that off this comment your 36 feedback for the month is 180 sales per month, right? So they've gone onto my eBay store. They've seen that I've got 36 feedback. Multiply that up to get a total sales per month. So, I mean, that is overestimating the number of sales I've had. So my 90-day sales total at the minute is about 330. And that's high. It's the time of year. Lots of sales are coming in on the run-up to Christmas. I mean, if you average that down, that's 110 sales in a month. So 36 feedback and 110 sales. I'm over 20%. That's good. That's good. Okay, so using these numbers, that's 41 per week, 5.9 per day. Looking at your eBay sales, the average price is around £15. Well, that's true. Yeah, my average price is £15. This gives you a max weekly average sales figure of circa £615 before eBay fees. And then go on and say typically 21% for small sellers, stock costs, petrol costs, package and return. Yeah, okay. An absolute high-end forecast, you are making profit of circa £250 per week. Okay. All good so far, right? That's where it gets a bit patronising. Or in lay terms, less than a checkout lady at Audi. Congratulations! And you make videos trumpeting this. It's hilarious if you think about it. Then he goes on to say, however, we all know that reselling is not the real aim here. That's YouTube. That's not true. All in my honest opinion. No issues with that. And happy to stand corrected by showing your 90 day or 12 month sales figure from your, my eBay page. So an interesting comment. And it's clear they put some time in to get a few metrics, look at some eBay averages and try to project how much yearly profit I make. I mean, if anything, they're estimated top end, a thousand pound profit per month, 12 grand a year. That's a lot higher than what I do make off of eBay per year. My 90 day total at the minute is just under 8,000 pounds and that's the highest it's ever been. We're putting a lot of effort in the background to try and grow how much we're selling on eBay. That 90 day total fluctuates throughout the year. Now we're on the run up to Christmas, it's higher. In the summer months, it's only about five grand. But if you forget about all the numbers for a second, the implication here is that I am doing this as a full-time job. And I think that that is the biggest thing that I've taken away from this whole comment, right? And that is the perception that actually to become a successful reseller, it has to be your full-time job. And you see that with a lot of the other UK-based resellers. Where we've been following other UK-based resellers, you can see that they started doing reselling alongside their full-time job. And then gradually that has changed to their full income. And now they're growing and growing and growing and growing. And because predominantly on YouTube, everybody is full-time at doing this, that then becomes the metric of success to reach that point. But I don't think that's right. For me, a successful reseller is the value you get out of the money you make from it. And in my situation, I am part-time. This is a hobby for me. I do this alongside my full-time job. The numbers that I've been given in that comment, that's what I'm actually aspiring to get to. I'm only earning about £500 profit per month, but that is all I need to be earning at the minute. And that money, right, I've got a use for that. That has provided me with a bit of financial flexibility and improving the financial situation of our family. Forget about money for a minute, because I am reselling, that has allowed me to drop hours in my full-time job. Not to be confused with quitting my full-time job altogether. I quite like my full-time job. I like having a stable income. It's very easy to watch a few Gary Vaynerchuk videos and see how being entrepreneurial is the only way to live. Well, there's nothing wrong with stability, having a stable salary with a pension and a bit of consistency too. And because I have dropped those hours from my full-time job, whenever my boys were growing up, it meant I could spend loads more time with them as well. Time that I'm not going to be able to get back. No amount of money is going to give me that time back. I know this guy's trying to belittle me. I know that. But my end goal is not to be a full-time reseller. 
my end goal is to earn that £500 a month to supplement what I am already earning. And yes, I'm trying to put a few systems in place and getting others to help me on the eBay side to grow that number. But fundamentally, this channel is all about finding things to flip on eBay and provide that bit of flexibility. And if you want an example of some of the things that I'm selling at the minute, check out some of these. Sales on Friday, dead. Had absolutely nothing. It's my first non-sale day for ages and ages. Saturday didn't really get much better. I had one sale Saturday, but it's the first sale where I've managed to take advantage of no fees on pre-used clothes. Check these out. A pair of G-Star jeans. I've had these down the bottom of the rack and down there for ages. Just a big bag of clothes, obviously with no fees. Time to get them all listed. Had a jeans session. Three pairs went up. This is the first load to sell. These are really easy to list, right? Because all the information you need is on the label. You can type that into eBay and you'll find loads of similar ones. Those have sold for 25 quid. No fees. But then, right, rest of Saturday, dead. Like, none. I couldn't even send out any offers. It was weird. Sunday morning, I put a few listings up on eBay. And Sunday afternoon has just gone nuts, right? The first sale, right, was this Monster Jam Monster Trek Plus. This is the zombie. I found this in the charity shop Saturday afternoon. Listed up Sunday morning, sold Sunday afternoon. That's what you want, isn't it? Pay three pounds, keep an eye out for your Monster Jam plushes. That sold for 40 quid. Then the usual type sales started coming through. Bumblebee Lego plush, 950. A pair of kiddies UK size two Adidas Predators. They got the sock on, all black. I always pick up boots like this. Kids need boots for school, don't they? They went for 15. These Adidas superstars, these are really cool. They've got this like gray mesh finish on them there. These have hung around for ages. These have been on the bottom of my shoe rack and I kind of filled up from the bottom up. So these have been around for a long time. Took an offer, 15. And then I got a kiddie zoom pink camera. That one went for 15. And the final sale of the weekend. I was getting a bit twitchy about this one. We've got Pumpkin Tigger, Disney store tag there. I picked this up in the charity shop for 50p months ago and listed it up months ago. And I was getting a few offers. There was a fair bit of interest early doors, but a lot of low ball offers, you know what I mean? Wrong time of year. I was always targeting this to sell for Halloween. You know, Halloween's not too far away now. And those offers and that interest has really dropped off. I've not heard anything for a while on this. I've not had any offers and I guess the buzz just died. Luckily, someone came in today, paid full price. Tigger's gone for 15. And Friday night is eBay packing night. Served me right for leaving it to the end of the week, but I've only got six things to wrap up tonight. Get them down the post office tomorrow. Start with this one. Halloween's on the way, isn't it? So I picked this one up in the charity shop a couple of Wednesdays ago. Two quid. Terminator face mask. Voice changer as well. All tested and working. That's gone for 25. Got to get that to the buyer in time for some trick-or-treating. A couple of pairs of shoes. First up, just a traditional pair of Samuel Windsors. Nice smart dress shoes. They went for 22. And then 22.50 for this pair of Nike Run Swifts. Size six and a half, great condition. Nice pair of shoes. Check these Transformers. The Transformers are shifting. As soon as I stick them up, they sell. These two are Revenge of the Fallen mud flap and skids. They're either side of an ice cream truck, but they transform to individual figures too. Great little set. They've sold for 40. Then I got two Harry Potter Lego books. We don't have the instructions, but we Googled them, found them, downloaded them, built them, all complete. Tons of figures. We threw some extra figures in with that as well. They've gone for 30. But then this is probably the sale of the week. Tomitronic 3D. Who remembers these? That's the exact one in the box. The white one there. It's got the strap. It's got the instructions. When was this from? 1983. Got the polystyrene in there. It's in really good condition with all the original stickers. That there, right? Because of the condition, that's all for 80 quid. Let me run you through eBay sales Monday and Tuesday. First up, I sold this Jurassic World Mosasaurus. I picked this one up last Wednesday on the way to see Connor. Paid a pound for it. I'll be honest, I made a bit of a gaff. I thought, right, you could take the tail off, but that ain't coming off. I, I was thinking that maybe I could get away with posting that a small parcel if I like dismantled it and posted it that way. No chance. I'm going to have to find a bigger box. Maybe post it as a medium parcel. It's sold for 20 quid all in. Pound, send it for 20. After fees, I thought that was all right. But even better if I could have got it in a small parcel. I've been hammering clothing at the minute because of the free fees for business sellers. I went through my death pile down there, dragged out all the clothes, and I've just been listing them up. 
But actually, I wonder, is that the right thing to do? Yes, I'm saving on fees, but because I've only got a limited amount of time to list and I'm using all of that time to list clothes, I'm not listing as many toys, board games and like the nostalgic collectible stuff. But we're on the approach to Christmas and this is the time where all of that stuff is going to sell most and for the highest price. So even though, yes, I am saving on fees on clothes, I'm probably not selling the stuff that I perhaps should be. And I'll have to sell that stuff now after Christmas, but a lower price than I would do at the beginning of Christmas. Might have to get back to listing some toys. But anyway, I did sell a couple of good items of clothing. I mean, this one I had to sell this time of year. I got this puffer North Face jacket. Look at the colour. That has an autumn colour in it. Like the leaves are falling off. That is the colour. This is a woman's size medium. Paid a tenner in the charity shop. Completely out of season. With the full intention of selling it this time of year. No fees. That's off 45 quid all in. I do like selling jeans. I know I don't really like selling clothes. But I quite like selling jeans. And this is ever since I watched that Carrie from home video. When she runs her business just selling jeans. Well, I've listed three pairs up recently. And two of them have sold within a week. This is the second pair. A pair of Levi 501s. Waist 38. Length 36. And actually I've been doing a lot of research into Levi's. A lot about that tag. This is the big E Levi, because it's got a capital E on it. Loads of different tags to look out for, and they all mean different things. I had these listed up for 30 quid. Offer come in, 27.50, no fees, accepted it. And I was gonna hold on to this for the Six Nations next year. I've got a retro, what is it retro? 2012 French rugby jersey. Just plain, no big logo on the front, traditional badge, nice Adidas hit with the stripes on top. Size XL, brilliant size for a rugby shirt, isn't it? I was going to hold on to this. Like the prices I think will naturally be higher around Six Nations. But this has gone global shipping over to France. Surprise, surprise. But the thing is I am debating whether to turn off global shipping to EU countries. Particularly when we are forced to comply with that legislation. This one's got £20.30. Strange number because of the exchange rate. But this has gone free fees. And I've heard a lot of people selling sports stuff and they didn't get the free fees. This one was listed under sports memorabilia. But if you carry on down through the different categories, it was in like shirts under sports memorabilia. Free fees. Nintendo Switch stuff. This is going to be a good Christmas seller, isn't it? Switches are still mega popular. I sold two official Joy-Cons with this kind of grip thing as well. They sold on the same day, 40 quid. Then I sold a Game Boy game. That is not the Game Boy game on the floor. No, it is not. This is called Mystic Quest for the original Game Boy. The thing is, the soundtrack on this is class. Even though it's that real harsh, like, 8-bit sound, they've just absolutely nailed it. Quite a sought-after game, that. I sold for 30 quid all in. Been thinning out the jelly calculation. I say that, we've hardly listed any. We've listed some of the doubles. And this one is just a bit babyish. You know, that is clearly for like a newborn. Brand new, still got the little ribbon and the tag on it. Paid a five in the charity shop. That one sold for 20. I got a graded Spider-Man card from 1995. This is a Marvel Metal Blaster. I only got a PSA 8. And I sold this on Friday. It was up for 30. Guy off for 25. I accepted it. And this is the first time I've seen this on eBay. They're now running like a vintage style offer system. So even though I accepted the offer because they didn't pay instantly, that stayed live on eBay. I think that is a really, really good thing that uh, eBay have done that. It used to happen all too often, right? Where you would accept an offer, it would come down off eBay, but they'd change their mind or not pay. Whatever reason, the transaction wouldn't go through. Now it doesn't matter if that's the case because this still just stays live. Good job they come through and pay for it though. 25 quid, pay Tuesday. One of my favourite Trackmaster trains to sell, Duck. You would have seen me sell tons of these. I might go through and work out actually how many ducks I've sold. These sell for 25 quid every day of the week. Bundle in a couple of carriages just to make them more attractive compared to other listings. Didn't hang about. These hang about. A pair of Darth Moor lightsabers. 15 quid they've gone for. And the last sale to show you, this one was just purely out of principle. I've got a VTEC. I don't even know what it is. I think you hang it on the side of the cot and then it like jingles, it lights up. I think that shines like a moon and stars on the ceiling. I've sold this once before. I sold it for 15 quid. The buyer received it, opened it up. And to be fair, right, I did have to clean the battery acid out of it when I bought it. And it has discolored all the contacts. Well, they took one look at it and just messaged back and said, sorry, it doesn't work. Well, like, 
I asked, have you put batteries in? Have you put fresh batteries in? That type of thing. And they were like, yeah, put batteries in, doesn't work. They sent it back saying item was faulty. I got it back. Soon as I put batteries in, of course it worked. Like, why would I sell something like that for 15 quid? Why would I sell something that doesn't work? It's not worth my time. It's not worth my effort. It's not worth the reputation of like my eBay store being tarnished by that. I took tons of photos and I messaged him back through eBay and said, the item clearly works. I think you use item as not working as a way of sending it back to me for free so I have to pay the post. It's true. I mean, that's what they did. Anyway, long story short, I listed it back up. It's taken a while to sell, but I sold it for my 15 quid. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I will be out in the charity shops next Wednesday to try and find some more bits to resell on eBay. Catch up with you then.